joined here today with head softball coach Adrian Clark, Megan Giordano, and Elia Catanzarita. Coach, give us your thoughts following uh, the CAA championship win. Yeah, it was phenomenal. It was everything I imagined it was going to be and more. Questions? Coach, uh, we just got to talk about this before we get to the actual championship. You guys made two outs after loading the bases with nobody out. Yeah. What was the thought process in the dugout when Angelina was coming to the plate? Um, that she was going to get it done, uh, honestly. Like, I don't know that there was ever a doubt that we weren't going to figure out a way to get it done, right? And all year it has taken every single one of them to string things together. And, you know, relying on one person is not how we have success. We have success when everybody contributes. And we talked about that before the game. We said we don't need anybody to be the hero. We just need everybody to get their job done. Alia, take us through that final at bat. What's going through your head? Uh, that final at bat, honestly, I was just looking for a way to get on. It did not have to be. It didn't have to be pretty. Uh, I was just trying to find a way to pass the bat. That was it. Coach, after yesterday's press conference, you told us to pack a lunch. Talk about the confidence <laughs> that you had in this team and were certain that they were going to force the game to and win it all. Yeah, you know, I think when you believe in things and you hold yourself in a way that you know you're going to get it done. Um, it only puts you in a better chance, better position to be able to get it done. So yeah, I uh, did not have a doubt in my mind that we weren't going to be able to figure out how to get it done. Coach, what were your thoughts on the pitching performance uh, throughout games one and two today? Yeah, phenomenal. Um, we have relied on our entire pitching staff. I feel redundant in talking about this, but it took every single one of them. You know, Bella coming in and, and getting the strikeouts when she did and, um, you know, getting us another time through the lineup allowed for Julia to be able to come in and just get outs, right? Um, so it took an entire, you know, pitching staff to get it done, and we did. What was the message to the team going into the bottom of the seventh in game two? Uh, did I even say anything to you guys? I don't think I even said anything to them, so um, there's that. I Honestly, like we try really hard to um, continue to empower them to um, be in control and, and to, um, to take the reins. So, uh, you know, I wasn't going to change anything now. Why would I get involved? They're already figuring it out, so. So both uh, of you guys, what was it like playing in front of this crowd today? Oh my god, it was electric. It was. Yeah, I, I, in my five years, I have never seen that many people up there. Here, I haven't heard anything like it. Um, it was just, it was surreal, really. It was honestly a dream. Like I was having an out of body experience. I couldn't even believe it. Um, but that having, uh, knowing that Hofstra had our back, that just put us in a good place. What about you, Coach? Yeah. Um, I'd like to say that it was my first time seeing a crowd like that, but it wasn't. But I was really excited when everyone showed up the way that they always have, right? And I think that's something that's so special about Hofstra and the community that we have built here because um, if there's one thing that people around here know how to do, it's win championships. And uh, they know what it takes, so it's really freaking cool. You, you, you talked about kind of the belief in this group. Where does that come from? Is this something that develops uh, organically or is it just something that is just there? You know, um, I think when you invest in people, as people and as humans, um, I think it makes it a lot easier to, you know, develop those relationships and figure out what makes each one of them individually tick because they're all very different. These two right here are two very different individuals um, and require a little bit of something different, right? Um, so I think when you when you spend the time to invest in people, um, good things happen. Coach, oh, you, you so, got it. Sorry. This is the program's first. Uh, conference championship in five years what does that mean for you guys it means the world that's ever since i stepped for, foot on this campus my freshman year that's this is everything that i've ever wanted and you know for everybody and, and the seniors and fifth years um, it's it's incredible it's like the best i just said it to opie it's the best this is the best day of my life <laughs> <laughs> she's never leaving <laughs> Coach, you did it as a player, you did it now as a coach. Describe what the journey has been like all these years. Oh uh, my gosh, how do I describe that in a few words? Um, I, I don't know that I have the exact words to describe it at this moment. I think that, um, you know, when you have people that believe in you, as I did as a player, um, and uh, when they believe in me as the person that I am and learning to figure out what that means to be my authentic self, um, you know, I think it makes it a lot easier stepping into the head coaching role, you know, having some of those answers and being able to um, pass on the information and the confidence in everyone around me. Megan, take me back to that game one home run in the top of the seventh inning. 
Oh, it's yeah. going through your head. <laughs> Honestly, I was just trying to keep things real simple um, before I struggled a little bit in, in the beginning of the day. So I was just trying to see ball, hit ball, and rounding the bases was, was awesome. Um, running home, seeing all my teammates there, it was, it was the greatest feeling in the world. Megan, uh, can you tell me what it means to be the recipients of the awards you both got? Oh, it's awesome. Um, you know, we, I, for myself, I couldn't do anything without my teammates, without my coaches. So I think it, it's, it's awesome to receive that, but it, it really just shows how every single one of my teammates has our, has our backs and how we play together. Yeah, it means the absolute world, but at the same time, I'm here leaning on my teammates because they, they really help me. Megan, you talked about this was something you thought about once you got here. Now that you've done it, is the reality better than what you thought it would be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> um, yeah, no. We, we, like I said, I've, we've talked about it, we've thought about it since I was 18. <laughs> Stepping on campus, like an awkward little freshman. But um, yeah, this is this is amazing. Coach and uh, Megan, I think you got a little bit of it too. What was that Gatorade shower like? Oh my God, sticky, uh, <laughs> wet, cold, all of the above. I'm a little upset that my hair is a little ruined, but it's fine. It's worth it, right? <laughs> totally worth it. Coach. I'll take it every day. Well, you had uh, Towson's number, a couple home runs off of him in the tournament. One yesterday, one today. Was there something that you were looking for from their pitching staff that just clicked? Honestly, I was just wanting to see the ball. That was it. Um, it I didn't want to make it bigger than what it was, and every every game that I went to, I just cleaned the slate. I was like, it's a new game. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. It, matter with, it matters what's going on right now. This is for everyone. Over your left shoulder, you'll see the number of conference championships. Over your right shoulder on the wall, you'll see the number of NCAA tournaments. What does it mean to add the 2023 to the conference championships and the NCAA tournament banner out there? You guys answer. It's, it's amazing. So the last line on there says 2018, like we've been, like we've been talking about. So to put 2023 out there, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, to be a part of this culture is unreal. As you asked another question, I mean, you guys had to come in and win two games today. I guess I'll direct it to you, Coach. Sure. What was the mentality coming in? Yeah, I know you said pack a lunch to these two <laughs> yesterday, but what's the mentality? I mean, you got to go all out for your pitching staff. That's and, right. You know, the offense has to go all, all out as well. You played a lot of games in this tournament. How did yep. you push through? Yeah, um... We just believed in each other. Uh, I think really when you when you break it down, I do believe it's that simple. I don't think anyone had a doubt. I think that uh, you know when people may have had moments of uncertainty, they relied on someone else to tell them, no, we've got this, or I've got your back, right? Just like Angelina coming up there, right? Like, you know, we, you know, Meg, Meg did a lot, Al did a lot, right? But it, it did take everyone, and, and Ange, was totally calm, cool, and collected by the time she got up because she knew that she could do it, right? And when you believe like that, it, it happens. You got any plans for tomorrow? Uh, the selection show? <laughs> <laughs> you told us yesterday that you didn't have a Mother's Day wish or a gift yet. How does this feel? Oh, this feels great. Mom, I hope you love this because, uh, yeah, I didn't send you anything yet. <laughs> Today. <laughs> this concludes the post-game press conference. Coach, Meg, Elliot, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you.